YouTube, what's up? This is your boy, Mr. Hands, aka Head Savage, and today I'm going to show you how to smoke a Cornish hen and how to smoke some good old barbecue baked beans. Okay, first of all, you want to make sure you the chicken is good and rinsed off and everything and what we're going to do is cut them right down the back here and here what we're doing is taking out that backbone In order to do that big backbone, you want to get you a good pair of sneers, snips, and just cut down one side and feel it. You can feel the backbone. take that guy right up out of there most people like to pull the fat from the chicken but I myself leave the fat on it because the fat gives it more flavor now what you want to do is just turn it over and you notice how it don't sit flat don't pull the wings off don't pull the legs off but what you want to do is smash the breastbone down you'll hear crack until it's flat and now what we're going to do from here is put it in a bag to marinate overnight you can use a marination of your choosing or of your liking and some people even like to put the rub on it right now to give it a little more flavor but I choose the weight to put the rub on and I'll show you that when I do put the rub on but right now I'm just prepping the chicken for marination like I said, and just give that breastbone a little pop till your chicken is laying flat, just like so. Okay, once you have your chicken all ready to be put in the marinade, you're going to want to get you a, a one gallon freezer bag. Like I said, use a marination of your preference. I have mine's here. And you're going to want to stick your cornage hen or little chicken as some might call it. Into the freezer bag like so. Get your marinade here. And skills the camera. Empty all your marinade out into the bag. It doesn't hurt to use the whole bottle. I don't like leaving anything left over. But you're going to want to let that marinate for a minimum of at least eight hours. Some do it six, but I say a minimum of eight hours. For maximum flavor, let it marinate for 24 hours. And once this is finished marinating, I'll show you what I do to it next to get it ready for the grill. Now, <clears throat> now that the chicken is through marinating, I had it marinating for 24 hours. I want to get it ready for the grill. I'm going to put a little rub on it.
be very generous with this rub. It's, it's not too salty. Whatever rub you're trying to use, rub is usually not too salty. But be very generous. Get it on there. Get it on there nice and good. Open the wings up, get some in there. And smash it in the chicken. You know, break them legs open, put it in there. You also want to flip her over. Put some rub on the inside of there. You don't have to put as much on the inside, but you just want to coat the chicken. I'm sorry about that there. But make sure you got it on the outside plentiful plenty on the outside Alright YouTube, these guys are ready for the grill, so let's go get our grill ready. Come on. Whenever starting your grill, you're going to want to make a little pyramid of your charcoal and put your lighter fluid on there and let them soak for about 30 minutes before trying to light it. If you don't, you're going to kind of find yourself trying to relight those charcoals over and over with fluid. And you want that fluid burnt off before you start cooking with it because you don't want your food tasting like lighter fluid. So I've already squirted mine. I had them soaking for about 30 minutes. So now I'm going to go ahead and light my grill. And you want to let that burn until it's pretty much ashed over and the flames are going out. Your charcoals will stay red hot for a good while. But like I said, for the main part of it is you want to make sure all the fluid is burnt off. And like I said before, I already had mine soaking for about 30 minutes already. And what I'm going to be doing today is basically showing you guys how to smoke your food when you're cooking. And if you don't have a smoker... All you got to do is make you a little, like I said, a pyramid of charcoal on one side of the grill and just cook on the other side. Don't put any charcoal or anything over there. You can cook on that side and let your heat roll over. But I have the firebox on here, so I'm going to use it. And I'll probably make a video where I use this side as my grill, but that's another video. And what I'm going to smoke with today is hickory and I will show you that you guys that once I put it on the grill okay you want to place your chicken on the grill like so get it close to the thing as you can over here I get mine a little bit closer I guess get them as close as you can to the firebox and just let them go let that temperature get up above. I just let a lot of heat out. I don't know if we can see this here. But let it get up to about over, over 200. Between 225 and 250 is a good cooking temperature. We're going to let them cook for about an hour that way. And then we're going to smoke them for another hour. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention on these grills here. How you control your heat is the more air you got flowing through, the more heat is going to build up. So I open this just a little bit. You want to see what your grill is like before, you know, start it off on the lower setting and then keep opening it up. The more it's open, the more it's, the hotter it's going to get because, like I said, the more airflow is going to come through. 
And now as you can see, the temperatures are rising. So we're gonna leave it at that for a while and see where that gets us. But like I said, we're gonna do this for about an hour. Then I'm gonna put my, like I said, I'm using hickory today. I'm gonna put my hickory wood on the grill and we'll let her smoke the rest of the way. All right, after about an hour, you wanna flip your chicken around. I threw some hot dogs on here for the kids, but you wanna get a chicken to turn around so it can cook some more from the other side. Let that side get to cooking down. The chicken is, is mostly cooked around now. So now you wanna start throwing in whatever kind of wood you're gonna use. Like I told you, I'm using hickory, so you wanna put one in and get it started, and we'll add it as time goes. See, now we got some good smoke going, that's what you want. We got it nice and rolling. The temperature is at about 250, and now we're smoking. Yep, let it do its thing like that for about another hour, and you're good to go. Update on the chicken here. As you can see, it's smoking nice and good, and now's the time to throw some sauce on there if you want to. You got about 30 minutes left of cooking. But now's the time to throw some sauce on there if you want. I myself like mine's just seasoned. My wife likes sauce on hers. Kids like sauce on the hot dogs. But now's the time to throw your sauce on there if you want some sauce. Got about 30 minutes left. All right, YouTube, the chicken is ready to come off the grill. <laughs> you have it it's nice smoked corn and chin if you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe and send comments if you like as well thanks for watching